I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine. My lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a gentle, gentle kiss. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much, which manly devotion shows in this. For saints of hands that pilgrims' hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmer's kiss. Have not saints lips and holy palmers too? Good pilgrim, lips that they must use in prayer. Oh, then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> they pray, grant thou, let faith turn to despair. Saints do not move, no grant for God's sake. Then move not while my prayer's effect I take. Oh, it's time for the top ten on Tuesday. <coughs> Bob, why didn't you Control warn me? Control yourself, Romeo. Well, we are revisiting the works of William Shakespeare here on Expresso today. So for our top ten, we're focusing on our favourite film versions of the Bard's best plays, many of them having a modern twist for the 21st century audience. Indeed, they do. Let's start off with our number ten, a modern adaptation of Othello. Of course, this movie stars uh, Josh Harnett, uh, Mickey Pfeiffer, uh, Mikhail Pfeiffer as well. And it's a set in the world of high school basketball and contains the same elements of jealousy, brotherhood and betrayal that make the original play so complete. Belly. Number nine, we have Romeo Must Die. Now, this is loosely based on Romeo and Juliet, and this action thriller stars Jet Li and the late Aaliyah. The twist is that the feuding families are rival criminal gangs, giving the story a real sense of danger. Plus, it's got that classic Aaliyah song, Try Again. If at first you don't succeed. Yeah, we all know that. We love it. We love it. Try again. At number eight, She's the Man, a reinvention of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. This high school comedy sees Amanda, uh, Amanda Baines dressing as a boy so that she can play for the boys soccer team when the girls program is cut. Now hilarity ensues as she struggles to keep her identity a secret from her teammates and her new crush played by Channing Tatum. Coming up at number seven, we have Much Ado About Nothing. Now, this is British actor, director's film version of the romantic comedy about two love-struck but quarrelling couples. It features a stellar cast, including um, Kenneth Branagh, Keanu Reeves, Denzel Washington, Emma Thompson and Kate Beckinsale. At number six, The Merchant of Venice. Of course, set in ancient Venice, this is a tale of a young Venetian businessman who incurs a debt that he cannot pay. Now, it's a tragic comedy that uh, has been told many a times on stage and and on film, the most recent version stars the brilliant Al Pacino and Jeremy Irons. Coming in at number five, we have Hamlet. Now, this is possibly one of the best versions of Hamlet in the 1990s or either the 1990 version starring Mel Gibson as the Danish prince who swears revenge against his uncle for killing his father to claim the throne. Ooh, at number four, we spoke to the cast today. A Midsummer Night's Dream, the heartwarming fantasy romance is the story of a young couple who run away together to escape the girl's controlling family. Now, along Along the way, they have uh, they encounter ma magical forest creatures uh, who interfere with their love and their lives with uh, shocking and hilarious effects. Coming in at number three, possibly my favorite, 10 Things I Hate About You. Now, this classic 90s teen comedy is a revamp of Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew. It stars Heath Ledger, Julia Stiles, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt at the beginning of their careers before they became huge stars and features that famous scene where Heath asks Julia out by serenading her in front of the entire school to tune of Frank Valley's Can't Take My Eyes Off You. Oh, I remember that one. At number two, Shakespeare in Love. Now, of course, not based, not based on a play, but set in Elizabethan England, Shakespeare in Love is a fictional tale of the playwright during a period of depressing, of the, of depressing writer's block, rather. Now, he then meets and falls in love with a new muse played by Gwyneth Paltrow, who inspires him to write Romeo and Juliet. And the film won seven Oscars, including Best Picture. Wow. And then coming in at number one, is it any surprise, Romeo and Juliet. Now, Baz Luhrmann's 1996 version of Romeo and Juliet is the stuff that teenage dre girls' dreams are made of, partly because it stars a pre-Titanic Leonardo DiCaprio. For the guys, the cool part is that the sword fights have been replaced by shootouts and explosions. <coughs> it's setting in the fictional, fictional Verona Beach, and the modern soundtrack and costumes make this classic play accessible to modern audiences. You could have watched it back then, you could watch it now, you it'll still be relevant as it was back in the yeah. day. Very, very cool. I think all of these must-sees. I mean, you can't really say that you know the Bard if you haven't seen these, eh? Definitely. Well, that's expressive. That's our Tuesday Top 10. We're going to take a quick ad break while my lips, prayers, effects I taketh on this moment of right now. <laughs> I'll see you just now. <laughs> the new improved Parmalat Fabulite fat-free yogurt.